I wanted to play with um, a parabola, parabolic reflectors and different surface treatments. And at one point in the past, I modeled various reflectors, including a parabola. And it's mathematically accurate. And I calculated where the exact focus goes on the, on the parabola. And I'm using that parabola right now in this scene. And it's available for download, actually, if you go to this web page, um, which I'll post in the instructions to the comments to this video. So what I have right now is a, um, here is the parabola. And inside of it is a bulb, which is back here. And if you look at it, you can see that this is in the focus of the parabola. And at the moment, I have this obstacle here, which is made of white matte material, same as the parabola. And I'm doing that just to kind of see what a beauty dish sort of would behave like, just for the fun of it. I'm going to get rid of it in a minute or two. But what that does is it blocks the direct rays from the bulb, and it only allows the indirect rays that bounce off the, the, the parabolic reflector to strike this mannequin, which is over here. Um, so uh, this little donut here represents the material that the uh, inside of the parabola is made of. So you can, uh, as I change it, you can see um, you know, on screen what, what the material is that's causing what look. So at the moment, what we see is um, it's a uh, fairly soft shadow, even though the parabola is kind of far away. It's sort of large-ish. So you see a soft kind of a shadow here. And you can see that the material is this dull white um, reflector. And if we look from this second camera over here, we'll see that, and I put it off to the side, we'll see that um, this white reflector throws a lot of light around. Um, and the reason, we can see it here, this oval shape that we're looking at is what the reflector itself looks like when we're way off to the side. So um, there's a there's a white surface treatment. And what I'd like to do now is just get rid of this internal little donut here. So we'll shove that off to the side. And if we look now, you can see that the shadow from the mannequin is sharper because some direct the, because the light source that's inside the reflector is very small and a lot of direct light is coming from that direct from the light source and hitting the mannequin so it's as if there's a tiny little bulb in the distance even though there is also this white uh, parabola enveloping it which causes a lot of light to get thrown to the left and to the right and once again if we look at it from the side we can see that there's what's going on. You get the little tiny source inside. It's casting direct light onto the mannequin. And uh, so there's that. Um, next thing I'd like to do is uh, get a material and put it onto this um, put it onto this uh, reflector and put it onto this donut as well and to use the Maxwell wizard to make it a metal and we'll make it mm, aluminum and we'll make it 60 rough which is fairly frosted and if we look at that render now what we'll see is okay for one thing you can see that the um, uh, mannequin is brighter and the reason the mannequin is brighter is because it's a real parabola and it's really the light is really at the focus so um, if we turn down the exposure we can see that uh, here's that silvery material this is the brushed silver that's actually on the thing I put it on the donut as well so you can see it and um, there is uh, you know it's still kind of behaving almost like a, a white dish but it's got a little bit of a hotter spot in the center um, and the reason is because it's quite frosted. If we look at it from the side, we
we can see that uh, still quite a bit of light is coming off the uh, side of the reflector. And if we tone down the light, even then, you know, way off to here, this is why there's this light on this, on, you know, not just inside the circle, which is where the direct light rays reach, but the indirect light rays that bounce off the mouth of the of the, the wall here and then they end up you know further outside that circle that's why that's still going on there um, if we uh, put a material onto this and onto this donut which is made of uh, wizard silver and we make it 20 which is quite shiny and we render this and what we see is much stronger hot spot again because it's a real parabola and you're really in the central focus of it and you can see from this um, you know donut here what the quality of the silver is like and it's it's quite a bit shinier I'll turn this light down till we get a better look at the mannequin there you go so this is a quite quite metallic shiny looking um, silver reflector and if we look at that off to the side we get you can see that um, you know that oval that was hanging in space is not really visible anymore and the reason is that um, you know most of the light is shining directly onto this mannequin and very little of it is coming off of the walls and in other directions and finally if we let's see get rid of this and call for another material and we can take that material put it there we put it on the donut as well so you can see it take a good look and make it wizard mm, silver I guess again and zero roughness which is ideal smooth mirror and if we look at it render now okay so it's extremely bright on the mannequin once again reason is it's a real par parabola the mathematically at the focus so it's really behaving it's an extremely powerfully collimated beam shining from it onto the onto the figure if we turn the exposure change the exposure on the camera so that um, we just get uh, a decent exposure on the mannequin we get that look so you can see that it's a highly concentrated beam very little light ends up anywhere else and um, if we stop this and just so you can really kind of get a sense of what this um, material is like I'm going to bring it see what we can do here bring it quite a bit closer to the to the figure so see if we can see it it's really not that evident but it's extremely mirror like and of course what it's reflecting on this side is blackness um, because that's what's over there there's nothing nothing in that world so there we go um, and the reason that it behaves this way I'm just gonna make this larger the reason it behaves that way is because if you look at it from this angle um, you can see that there's really no light coming from that oval you can't really see it all this complicated stuff here that's I think that's caustics either from the uh, the parabola itself or from this donut that's here you can see Maxwell does a nice job of capturing that focused caustic hotspot light um, if I turn this down So 
So there is, um, you know, how a parabola behaves when it's made of different materials. Actually, there's one last material I should make it out of, and that is, um, I'll make it out of a uh, black matte material, as if it's like a cinefoil or a snoot. And so there's that. And um, let me just move this a little bit further over here just so we can get it out of the way. So this donut, it's larger than it used to be, but that donut is made of the same black cinefoil snoot material that the reflector is made of. And so what we see now is so that is um, direct light coming from the bulb that's buried inside of it. And um, very little of it gets thrown outside of this cone of influence that the snoot kind of closes off because um, this is why. If you look at the parabola from this angle here, off axis again, um, you can see that very little, it's black, but it, there's a bright light inside, but it's black, and you know, even like it's, but it's black like black paper. So, you know, as you know, you can light black paper and, you know, a light spill will show on it. So you can see that there is some light coming off of the mouth of that dark, very dark snoot, but very little. So very little of that light, you know, ends up outside of the circle. Um, if we were to play with the ISO, and uh, there you go. So you can see that light is actually spilling outside beyond the circle. It's just that it's a matter of ratios and what we actually see is not that apparent.